Hi, I'm Sheila Shemay. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm just going to do a makeup look. Um, as you probably can tell already, I just have on some eyelashes and some eyeliner. I took off everything else that I had on so I can do this makeup tutorial for you guys. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started on this. Um, the first thing that I do is I do use a moisturizer and I use the Beyond Belief Revitalize, Nourish and Diminish um, Facial Serum. And I've used this and it's, it doesn't say you can use, yes yeah, it says day and night, but I've used it once so I'm not going to use it again because I will have to use this again tonight. So yeah, I've used this as my moisturizer. And also, I've used my Beyond Belief uh, Revitalized, Nourish, and Diminish Eye Cream underneath my eyes. I only use this at, you know, in the mornings. And I have used this as well. So, yeah, you guys, I've used both of those products. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to just kind of like pin my hair back on the side a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Get it up off my face. Get it out of the way. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to do first is, I don't know if y'all can remember me hauling this, but this is the Vital Care Enrich Skin Treatments Vitamin E Oil. Okay. I'm going to use that product right there on my eyelids because you guys, I tell you, I have been having some dry, dry skin. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use a little bit. What I do is I just open up the cap and it is vitamin E oil. I'm just going to place just a little bit on my eyelids. That's just how much my skin, just how dry my skin is, you guys. That's why I have to get things to put oil, you know, like skincare with oil in it. Like my eyelids are so dry too. When I put on my eyeshadows, they kind of look not so smooth. So... Yeah, I'm using this vitamin E oil to go on my eyelids. That's just how dry my skin is. Like I said, I'm not going to... I keep repeating myself, but I'm going to try to stop doing that. Okay, i done that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let that dry just a little bit. And I've already done my brows, so I'll tell you what I've done. I've used the MAC Deep Dark Brunette Fluid Line. It looks like that, of course. I've used that. And then I turn around and then I put this powder on my brows. I use the middle color here and the brown color. So it's the tan color and the brown color. That's what I have on my brows. That's it. That's what I did with my brows, just so you know. As far as this eyeliner, which I'm going to go back over my eyeliner, I use the CoverGirl Ink It um, eyeliner in the color 230 Black Ink. I use that, if you're wondering. And then as far as mascara, don't tell me I forgot. I use the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly. I use it. Okay, y'all, let's get started. That should have, that oil should be dry now. So now I'm going to use the Rimmel Exaggerate Undercover Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to use that. Um, on my eyelids. And it's probably going to look funny because I got my eyelashes on. And I've had them on all day, you guys. So, yeah. It's going to look a little funny. Uh, having eyelashes already on before you, you know, 
get the tutorial well at least before you get your eyes done you know that usually be a last step but I didn't want to take them off just for the tutorial I felt like you know hey just keep them on alright so now I'm going to take this um, NYX uh, what is this the push up bra bra y'all can't talk the NYX push up bra for your eyebrows I'm going to use this I use the pink shade I'm just going to go right underneath my brow just to, you know, shaping up my brows a little bit. Give it a little highlight. And then I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to take this ELF uh, eyeliner brush, actually. It's a flat eyeliner brush. But I like to use it to clean up my brows. Because it just, I can just clean them up if one eyebrow looks bigger than the other one I can just use that cream right there or that wax and just clean them up and if you hear that noise that's my fan it's hot here you guys so yeah that's what that is and I got the fan right over there so might be able to hear it a good bit usually I have it on the floor okay that is good enough so next thing I'm going to do I don't know why that one want to stick up look like when I do tutorials look like everything just kind of you know, I'll be like, what? Where did that come from? You know, it wasn't there before. You know, that kind of attitude. But anyway, okay. Let's go on into the shadows. What I'm going to use is I'm going to go back with the Maybelline uh, New York, the News palette. I have mentioned this in my uh, Wednesday hump day video just showing you what shadows I use I'm going to use this um, it looks like a really shimmery cream color but it actually got a pink iridescent color with it or inside of it or in the mix of it so I like to use that on my brow bone so I'm going to start with my brow bone this time if you look at it you might can see it it looks a little bit it's got a little bit of a pink uh, hue to it and I like that personally it doesn't bother me alright I'm going to go over here on this side do the same thing I know I'm going probably below the brow bone but it's going to all blend in I'm not going to do like a difficult eye shadow look. It's going to be something bronzy and simple. Not nothing too much. But that's how it's looking right now. The next color I'm going to grab is this color right here. What I'm going to use is this color here. I don't think they have color names. I don't think they might a lot of stuff on the back but I don't think they have names so I'm just going to use this color here right below that area where I put that uh, this is the wrong brush hold on let me find the brush I'm looking for oopsies I didn't bring it mm. I don't know why I do that I'm just going to take this brush here and use that color and just go right slightly and for some reason that color is pretty dark but it's pretty and it gives me that bronzy look uh but I forget sometimes not to put so much on but I like that look from Wednesday hunt day I mean I would totally wear it some people would not. Some people would be like, no, mm -mm, that's too, mm -mm, 
that's too much but for me nope i can wear it i would wear it i wore it <laughs> so do you and i'm just blending it with my hands Alright, then I'm going to get like this big uh, concealer brush and this will help blend it even more. There we go. That looks better. Just blend it. And yeah, this is an uh, ELF concealer brush. But I use it to blend out those colors up here next to my brows. Yes, I do. I do that. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this color tattoo and it's new and I, y'all, I'm going to do a haul, a small haul behind this video. Uh, I do have a few more new products I would like to share with you and this is one of them. This is the new color tattoo 24 hour eyeshadow in chocolate suede looks like that and I open it up this is how it looks I got it for my bronzy eye looks that I am just in love with right now so yeah I'm gonna put this all over my and you can use this as a shadow just alone basically that's what I'm gonna do um I'm gonna use this as a shadow eyeshadow and I'm blending it as I'm using my finger. This is just a method that I do when I got to hurry up and get out the door. Like if I ain't got time to sit there and blend and uh, put a whole lot of colors on my eyes. I just, you know, basically put this on. Uh-oh, my eyelash almost came off then. Uh, I'll glue it back on. Anyways, uh, this is what I do. I might well take that off. Yeah, I've had it on all day since this morning, so I guess it is ready to come off. <laughs> but anyway, so just blend that in. This color, this color tattoo in the shade chocolate suede. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with this deeper brown shade right here, and I'll put that in my crease. Slightly above that color tattoo shade, and I'm actually gonna go all the way, almost all the way across with it. And then I'm going to blend it out. I am loving this eyeshadow palette. I just love it. Uh, I just love it because it's new shades. And, you know, if I don't want a whole lot of color on my eyes, I know I can simply pull out this small palette. It's a small palette on top of that. It's not nothing really big like my other palettes. I have... A good bit of eyeshadow palettes but most of mine are like really big palettes and sometimes I don't like to fool with big palettes you know I don't like to have to pull them out and you know all that sometimes I just don't have the time I'm just blending that uh, crease color out and I don't know the name of these brushes right here uh, I got these from is this RC RC cosmetics I love their brushes I actually I gotta get some more because for some reason I don't know what I'm doing when I'm washing my brushes uh, my brushes tend to the burl, probably everybody have that problem. After so long, the burl just get loose. So I've got to either watch out what I'm doing or I don't know. <laughs> but 
basically uh but i think buying brushes is something that just comes with wearing makeup okay so the next shade i'm gonna use i'm keeping it bronzy i'm gonna use this l'oreal paris um color rich eyeshadow in 250 absolute taupe it looks like this i have mentioned this palette as well it's a new one that i got from walmart well from walgreens i'm gonna use that this shade right here this one right here and i'm gonna put this on my lid even though i know i said i was gonna use that as my shadow but i want to bronze up my eyes just a little bit more okay just a little bit all right that looks good it still looks like that color suede color so chocolate suede i'm sorry it still looks the same as that it just gives it a more matte finish instead of that cream from the color tattoo look okay all right so now what i'm going to